welcome to episode 8 of One List Call. We rank shit, right? What the fuck did you guys get these ice cubes from? We rank shit, that's all that matters. Um, from TV shows to movies, cartoons, whatever we can think of. There's something um, in this ice cube, look at it. I'm Kyle, this is Jordan. There is, look at it. These ice cubes. It's right, as you uh, see, it's a black spot. I'm not putting it in my drink. What are we ranking today? I'm putting it on the floor. <laughs> what are we ranking today? Um, cartoon movies top five. Top Let me ten. prefer top ten. I just have top five written down from my oh. save file. I was like, the fuck. Let me be clear. Yeah, what's up? We don't really have rules for this thing because it's hard. We were going through this list, right? One of the options was Goof Troop, and it <laughs> had Goofy Movie, extremely Goofy Movie. Didn't include those, mm-hmm. but SpongeBob was on there. Fucking included SpongeBob. Yeah. We was, tried to make rules in the beginning, but then like we both do our list and it's like ah, I didn't. So I'm just gonna one. preference Goofy movie and the extremely Goofy movie would have been on my list, but they're not. Also, the Dragon Ball Z movies are not on it. That's true. Um, or Scooby Doo. Inuyasha is not on it. I like it. I don't know. If, I don't think I've ever watched it. Scooby Doo doesn't count because we're going to do its own list. It's yeah. going to be a very special episode. That one's going to probably be the most heated debate we ever have on this show. We'll probably be very drunk. <laughs> So that one's going to be a good episode. It's going to be great. But yeah, so we just ranked movies from cartoon shows. That Most of them are made for TV movies. There's a few that were theatrical yeah, that releases. Might be like, yeah. But, like, the Goofy movie doesn't count. Because that'll be its own list for Disney. I guarantee Jordan flips out for one of my picks. Is for it your top great. picks? Is? Yeah, for one of my... T- what? As, whoa. Top picks? He's going to freak out. Stay tuned. It's going to be great. But... It's an even number episode. If you guys haven't caught on yet, that means he asks questions first. Do you have a napkin? Um, yeah, I got some over there. One second. Sorry. <laughs> I made a miss. <laughs> Are you some Taco Bell? Uh, there or Wendy's. I don't know. Don't put that in the shot, my man. Bro, the What's Wendy's up? in Daleville closes at 11. That one is not very good though. Here's how we went go. to the one to enter. Doesn't matter. matter. Oh, it's really? Good. It was pretty fire actually. You went back? No, I, back I, I, I was. Uh, oh, you went. I used the Wendy because when I did Google ma- or the <laughs> Apple's Maps, it didn't tell me the time, so I went to the Wendy's app <laughs> and gave me the time. The one That's Anderson, funny. pretty fire. Really? Yeah, it was actually really good. The um one in Delville is hitting us, but yeah. So like, we can get started with your questions anytime, my man. Okay. Wait, we're doing five, right? Five questions. Uh, I have five burned down, yes. Alright, cool. One second, let me pour me a drink. Yep. If this shit's gross, I'm punching in the face. Because I have Jim Bean vanilla right now. Really? Yes, motherfucker. <laughs> That's why, like, the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I thought you just poured more juice in there. No, I put Jim Bean in there, and then the juice... Get out puny. My bottle's gone. <laughs> I'm struggling right now. Anyway, my you first... want to restart this shit. Nah, fuck it. Trash. That would keep it rolling. Let's go. This is what, episode go. 8? They know what they're getting into. <laughs> they don't. It's getting worse by the episode we're recording. It's so one. good, though. <laughs> um, so my first question. So, for your top 10... Um, Ooh, this is pretty fire. You're welcome. <laughs> no, like, I can't even say so at all. I taste the vanilla, <laughs> and then that juice I mix with is pretty good. Um, so your top ten. Huh? Is there more than one movie from a single franchise or series? That's a good question. All right, so look it, look it, look it. Look yeah, oh, here we fucking go. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, straight up, yeah. Fuck that. Fuck. Straight up, yeah. Yes. Yeah, straight up, yeah. I was going to ask a question. But well, the real question is which one, though? That's what I'm saying. Like, like, yeah. I wasn't expecting yes. But yeah, go ahead. Are there any, or do you have more than two movies from Nickelodeon cartoons? Names for Nick ones. No. No, Nick shows. I can't think of them off the top of my head. Um, I, mean, I can pull up the list, I guess. Hey Arnold, Cat Dog, Doug. Fairly Odd Parents, Jimmy Neutron. Ooh, we, I didn't see Jimmy Neutron on that list for his movie. I brought that up. 
I thought you brought up Power Hour. I brought up both. I said Jimmy Ooh. and Turner first. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. But, um, yes. Really? Yeah. Mm, that would have changed me if I would have seen the list. So, yes. Um, oh, shit. Yes. Um, are there any movies from Cartoon Network shows? Any at all? Yes. Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. And are there any... Uh, any movies that involve animals? Like, are the main characters? Yes. That doesn't help me at all, but okay. Um, my last question... This is tough because there's so many fucking choices. Mm-hmm. Um, were any of your movies released in the theaters? Actually, you might not know of this. I feel like yes. You feel like off the top of the dome? I'm gonna say yeah. Fuck, I have no idea. Is that your final question, or are you not taking that question? Yeah, even though it didn't fucking help me. Um, I'm double checking. Will Wikipedia tell me? Mmm, I assume so. There should be, yeah, if it is, it'd be like a box office or something. If there's a box office, that means yes? Yes. Yes. At least one. Okay. My turn. My turn? Yeah. Are one of yours Dexter? Just try it out and get into the nope. nitty and gritty. Cool. Um, There's another one. Didn't know they had a fucking movie. Same. That's why I was like, maybe he did. I don't fucking know. Like, I think I remember, but I don't. It, I don't think so. Is the Nako boy, is what I'm going to refer to him as, in any of your movies? But not like Raw Unstoppable? The Knockout no. Boy. Not the first one. He's cool. Give the fucking no. Um, that's two. Are any of them about like diaper babies? Yes. Which one? Oh, that's easy. I get my. Alright. Um. Are there two or more Fairly Odd Parents? No. Cool. That's four. Um, and I'm gonna go with. Is one of them back in this? I'm not gonna call it the Stone Ages, but like, you know what I mean. You don't get to. No. They got dinos in there. No. No, you don't know what I mean, or no? I know what you mean. No. That was my number 12. Mm, damn, what the fuck is your number 10? I removed it. My mean? number 10, there's no fucking way you get this movie. If you get this movie, I would give you $5 right now. Word. Like, out of my wallet. Right, I would give you $5. Percent. If you guess my number 10 exactly. Okay, look it, look it. How do we find that list again? What the fuck is your oh, list? Alright, cool. And you had a Cartoon Network movie? The fuck? I think it was Cartoon Network. Oh, see, this is where he goes. He don't know the fucking. It was Cartoon Network. Channels. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. I have seven of yours for my guesses. I'm fucking lost. You said you had a Pokemon movie? Yeah, okay. Theaters. More than one from a franchise. Fuck. Mmm. Fuck, what the fuck is your list? Do you have your guesses? Yep. I have eight. Nine. 
Then he's going pissed off with one of them. Woo! So let me find the stupidest one on this list. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be great. You should know it. If it's not, like, if you don't guess this for me, I'm going to be kind of upset. Like, you do not pay attention to me as a person if you don't. Like, you don't know me. We're not brothers anymore if you don't put this on, like, my top ten. Just to let you know. But I'm ready whenever you are. Go ahead and read yours off for me. How do we find this list? No, my father. Cool. Um, can I be upset? Scatter gave you a, I gave you an extra hint. You know what I mean? Fucking big boy, motherfucker. Um, I got, I need one more for you. And I'll be upset, or like I should know this because of you, and I will be upset. When you're not gonna, yeah, yeah, hundred percent both of them. Like once once I say it, you're gonna be like you're a dumbass. Like don't talk to me ever again. Hundred percent. But it's cool. Which like we gotta have a time limit on this shit. We're going. Fucking know it. We're going for eleven minutes. Do you know it now? Yeah. You think so? <laughs> what is it? I know. And if this is it, I might punch you. Why? Because this is, fuck you. Exactly what I'm saying. All right, Isn't my guess right? is. Yep. Channel chasers. Hold on. Let me, I need to mark them down because this is a long one. All right. Come draw. Oh, uh, channel chasers. Huh? Rugrats movie, the first one. Okay. Recess. Which one? Either school's out or taking the fifth I need, grade. I need an answer. I'm taking the taking the fifth grade. Taking the fifth grade. It's not gonna be the Christmas one. Pokemon the first movie. Which one's that? Me too. Yeah. And you. Um, Kim Stitch in Time. Okay. Ever catastrophe. Ed and Eddie Big Picture. That one I don't think so, but I couldn't think of another fucking Cartoon Network one. Uh-huh. Um. Mm, I'm changing Ed and Eddie. Powerpuff Girl movie. Okay. Even though I probably should have got it. Either way, I don't know any of the fucking one. Uh, my next one, Hey Arnold movie. The first one, because I know you haven't seen Jungle movie. Um, Tom and Jerry, Fast and the Fury. My last one. The one that's going to piss me off. Phineas and Ferb, The Second Dimension. Across the Second Dimension. Where the fuck is God? That's two. I have nine. What was another one? Channel Chasers, Rugrats, Recess, Pokemon, Stitch in Time, Abercrombie, Powerpuff Girls, Tom and Jerry, Hey Arnold, Phineas and Ferb. Which one were you missing? Uh, Tom and Jerry. Okay. Fast and Fury. Yeah. All right. Your list. Waco's Wish. It's Wackos, but okay. Wackos wish. Wackos. I knew it was Wackos. That's one pronounced wrong. Hey Arnold, Channel Chasers. Which Hey Arnold? The first one. Uh, Channel Chasers. Tom and Jerry, Fast and the Furry. Proud Family. The Mewtwo movie. Which one? The first one. Just let me say. Uh, Recess. School's out. Mm-hmm. Rugrats in Paris. Mm-hmm. Huckleberry Hound. Huckleberry Hound. He knows me too and well. Adventures of Flash Gordon. We'll let you in a little secret. Never got any Flash Gordon. Damn it! Damn it! Let me let you know another secret. When I seen Ted for the first time, no idea who the fuck Flash Gordon was. Same. <laughs> me either. I found out. Was, listen, like I know that guy. Found out he's an eighty is an eighties thing. Yep. Never heard of Flash Gordon before in my life. Cool. Ted. Me neither. But I know who he is now. So I was like, you know what? Jordan it's, said it's I would never guess shit. it. I'm gonna guess this shit. Okay. So you guessed my number ten. Yeah. I There's no way you guessed my number ten. So right. you, you owe me five dollars. 
That's fine, whatever. <laughs> but that's my ten for you. Okay. Some of those. Hmm. I'm surprised you went to those, but okay. But okay. Where I'm at in my life, man. Okay. Tell me. What's your number ten? Oh, I, 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 don't don't just, I always skip that. I apologize. How many number missions do you have? Because I have a fuck ton. Nine. I feel like you remember more shit than I do. Like, if I click on it and I read, like, the synopsis or some mm-hmm. shit, I may remember it. But, like, off the top of the dome, like, looking at the list, I'm like, none of these spark in my interest. I don't remember this shit. I don't know. So, my honorable mentions, I have 28. 28 honorable mentions or 28 total? 28 honorable Fuck. mentions. All right, go ahead and go through them. The Jimmy Neutron movie. Which... Ooh, one of my honorable mentions as well. I didn't see that on the list. It's not, but you, I, I know it's there. If this would have been on it... This would have had a case for being top 10 for me. Same way with my Sweet Life. Not necessarily the Sweet Life, but the Sweet Life movie in general. But see, it's live action, though. I know, but still. But, like, Jimmy Neutron, I don't know if it's good enough to make top 10, but it would have been in consideration. Like, it would have been 11, 12. It's right there. Yeah, it's pretty good. I, really that movie's good. awesome. I also didn't know it was the movie and then the series came out. I told you that the other day. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I didn't know that. That was crazy. the pilot for the TV yeah, show. that's crazy. Um, my next one is the Jimmy Timmy Power Hour, all three of them, because I don't, I couldn't tell you a difference between it's the a three. trilogy. Yeah. So. But I couldn't tell you, like, what happens in one, what happens in two, what happens in three. They all run together for me. Um, my next one is Pooh's Grand Adventure, uh, The Search for Christopher Robin. Who the fuck is that? It's Winnie the Pooh. Okay. Where they go searching for Christopher Robin, they go uh-huh. to a mountain in a cave and they try and find him. Not a big Winnie the Pooh person. This is the only Winnie the Pooh thing that I really care about. Besides a new movie. I don't really remember that at all, to be honest. It was the only Winnie the Pooh Disney movie we owned growing up. Mm -hmm. Like, we never owned the original, like, 1967, whatever, Mm -hmm. 77 version. We owned this movie for some fucking reason. Fuck that movie. So this was the only Winnie the Pooh that I grew up watching. I don't like the TV show, don't like the other movies. This is the only one. Cool, cool, cool. My next one's Walt Thornberry's movie. See... All right, so I had a list of 11 questions I wanted to ask to try to narrow this shit down. That was one of my questions. Like, could it be Wild Thornberrys? Could that be in his top 10? I never seen the movie, so I don't know what I'm going now. So the movie, I think... I remember the movie, but I don't remember what happens. Like, I remember liking it, but I don't remember the events of the movie. That's how most of us go, though. Like, yeah. Like, that shit was so we, long Because we don't like, watch it so much. I don't. remember that feeling it gave me. Yeah. That doesn't go away, but, like, what happened? Like, the fuck? I don't know. My next one's the first Spongebob movie. Where, where they get the Krabby Patty car? Yes, and they find the crown. Yeah. It's so good. With Neptune? Neptune, King yeah. Neptune, and then his daughter. That's also on my list. It's so good. Also, I think I miscounted. I think I have more than what I said, but it's good. For honorable mentions? Yeah. My next one, I have two asterisks by. Just show me one asterisk. So, it's something I wanted to go see. He wouldn't go with me. So, I've never seen this, but I'm sure I would have liked it. So, I just want to talk about it. Sailor Moon, the movie. When they released, like, the Japanese one last year, like, Sailor Moon R. I asked you to go see, I I to go see Sailor Moon with me. Like, you did tell me now. I want to go see Sailor Moon because I like the TV show. Yeah, never seen the movie. Um, Rograx, Go Wild. Any other Rugrats in Paris. You're fucking lying. I'm not lying. Rugrats Ooh. in Paris. That's also my honorable mentions. You like Go Wild or Paris better? Paris. Paris. Reptar was a gangster. Reptar, man. and then they introduce Kimmy. And then uh, Chucky Finster's dad has a girlfriend. <laughs> Falls in love. At Reptar Land. They made an uh, underwear joke too. They did. Uh, my next one's Pokemon Mewtwo Returns, which is the fourth movie? Something like that. Fifth yeah. movie? You said Mewtwo, I'm like, fuck. Music Returns. Okay, cool. yeah. Where he comes back as a good guy, yeah. which kind of makes no sense, but it kind of makes sense after the first one. Sort of. He's just trying. He's trying to do. He thought what he was doing was right. And then Ash kind of remembered him, but he kind of didn't. I kind of have problems with it, but it's still good. I just like Mewtwo. Uh, my next one's Recess Christmas, um, whatever the fuck it's called. Yep. Um, and then School's Out. Alright. Then the Proud Family movie. So you yeah, have Save the World. Save the World? You have Recess Save the World in your top 10. No. Save the World? That's not what it's called. But, okay. Oh, never mind, never mind. 
I don't know. That was the question I had. <laughs> Do they Reese save the says, world? Saves the world because they shoot the laser beam for schools out. Got it. I don't know. Um, I said Proud Family, Powerpuff Girls movie. This is where they Wait, find the Proud Family on yours. Proud Family is on my honorable mentions. Yes. The With the little peanut, the, the peanuts. Over. Yeah. Yeah, Powerpuff Girls movie. I've and never seen it. Really? I only ever seen that. Mm, you need to watch it. It's pretty yeah, good. It's, it's not my top ten. Have you watched the new the new series of the Powerpuff Girls, like the rebooted one? No, I wonder if it's good though. I watched one episode. Actually, it's on. Um, I watched it on demand one day. I watched like one episode, and Simone walked into me. She's like, "The fuck are you doing?" <laughs> well, I like this show. Um, my next one's Pokemon Three and the Pokemon Two. Three was unknown to that was Inte, yeah. Lugia. Lugia, yeah. Both of those are my honorable mentions. They're well. great. I like two better than three. Yeah. And then I like three better. You think so with Inte? I don't know. I feel like mm, no. I like the Lugia, the Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres plot of two. Mm-hmm. And then um, I have Abra Catastrophe. Okay. Um. Then I have Ed, Ed and Eddie Big Picture, which came out not too long. It was like two thousand nine. Um. Doug's first movie. Okay. Um. Cat Dog. Would they find out who their parents are? That was another question if it's going to be in top 10 or not. Go on, look. It's good. If they find out who their parents are. I don't are. think I've seen it either. Um, Batman and Mr. Free Sub-Zero. Oh, the man. only Batman cartoon movie we owned growing up. Where like um, we find out about Sub's, um, uh, Mr. Freeze's wife and she's locked in and then they fight. We just learn more about Mr. Freeze's backstory. That's pretty dope. Um, so. Flintstone's Christmas Carol. I assume that was your... Okay. Oh, I don't remember Flintstones at all. Like the movies, I don't remember it at all. Wow. I was just like, does he have a Flintstone? Like, <laughs> in general, like, is there one out of these three or four that there could be that I need to guess? Flintstone, Chris Carroll. It's great. I love Um, Alvin and the Chipmunks meet the Wolfman. I remember that one. Because it was his neighbor. And Alvin goes fucking crazy. <laughs> um, both Kim Possible movies, because I couldn't tell you which one was which. So the drama was the one with the Diablo robot looking things? Which is the one where they go to like prom or something? Prom, that was be a... Cause that's I think the, one the Diablo one. Okay, because I don't even remember either drama. one of these fucking movies. I know I've seen a them. Stitch, a Stitch in Time or a Stitch in Time? Whatever. It's so, Stitch. Yeah, that one or is stitch. where she, gets on, she goes back stitch. in time to help her younger self kind of. I don't think I've seen that one. Stuff. It's the first one. It's really good. I, I like think it's an old one. I like it. I like it a lot. But she has to go, I think like the future comes in and like her little bro- twin brothers are grown up mm. and they're like big and buff and they got guns and shit. The only one I remember them going back in time was the one where her aunt was at like the old carnival or something and then they find that machine uh, yeah, that was cool. and it's like, it's it's an but it was an episode. Yeah. Um, so I don't remember. The, I remember watching them, the movies, yeah. but I don't remember. I couldn't tell you what the fuck happened in them. Yeah. Um, Tom and Jerry blast off to Mars. Okay. Where Jerry has a crush on the aliens. See, I don't really remember the all the Tom and Jerry ones. I remember some of them. And then I have Tom and Jerry, the first movie, where Tom fucking talks. It's kind of like the Scooby Doo thing. Tom talks just fluently. And it makes no fucking sense. I remember him talking. I didn't like that one because he talked. It's it good, like, no. but it's it's different. My brother talks to me. Yeah, it's Jerry it's weird. Talk to me. Um, then I have Hey. That was kind of weird about Tom and Jerry. Like we liked it, but it was just thirty minutes. Like it's silence. a silent movie. Or a silent show. <laughs> it's weird. The music kind of makes up for it, though. I mean, yeah, but like... It's but weird, you can like, watch it with no sound, and it would still be... Yeah, it's just, like, it's just... It's weird. Um, what the fuck? My laptop or my keyboard stud. Um, That's the worst. Keanu on the Jungle movie. Okay. I don't know. You haven't seen it yet, but it's really good. Um, and then Jetsons meets the Flintstones is my last one. <laughs> it's a fucking crossover of the future with the past. It's so good. That's my honorable mention. Alright, mine, off the top of the dome, right quick. Fairly Odd Parents, The Fairy Idol. Ooh, that's the one where they sing. Yeah. Okay. Great I didn't one. put that one. That's a good one. I didn't Great put that. One. I forgot that one. Kim Possible, so the drama. Diablo guy. Uh, I think the end scene is them at uh, the taco place. I don't know what it's called. I remember the prom in one of them. I think that's Because she dances with Ron. I think it's a stitch in time. Okay. Stitch. Um, Jimmy Timmy Power Hours. Cause mm-hmm. that was almost gonna be on top, but I'm like, I can't pick a movie. Out yeah, of so you can't movie. choose. Um, 
SpongeBob Sponge Out of Water. I actually liked the it. The second one? Yeah. I liked it, it was good. I liked it. But it wasn't the first one. You're not wrong. And then the first one. Um, Rugrats in Paris. It's also my honorable mentions. Uh, Pokemon The Power of One, which was a Lugia one. Yeah. Uh, Fairly Odd Parents, Fairy, Fairly Odd Baby, where Poof was born. I liked it. No. Never watched it. I did. Once they introduced Poof, I stopped See, I watched the about Poof. It. Um, I think they introduced like a dog or some shit in the newer ones. Something like that. I, I haven't seen that. I need because. to go and watch the new season, but yeah. I'm watching it. Uh, Pokemon Spell the Unknown. That's Entei Unknown. All Entei. those people. Uh, Jimmy Neutron. I put movie. They go to space. Because <laughs> I didn't movie know they go to, is Jimmy Neutron the movie. Uh, they go to space. They go to space. No, the fucking one. fair ride. We have to talk about it. The Jimmy Neutron won the Intergalactic Games. It was great. The one with Tim Allen. Movie. Yes, that's a t- it was a TV special. Yeah, but I still count it as a movie. Because I mean, if Shit, we count, that, be number, that would be in my top ten. Yeah, that's that, definitely that, in my top ten. Yeah, that might be ten. That's a great one. It's that's so that's fucking good. It, it's kind of, I put that up with channel. It's the same thing as Channel Chasers or like Ever Catastrophe. But Channel Chasers got all that like nostalgic type shit on it though. <sighs> it's still, uh, the Intergalactic well, Games is still one of the best cards. It's, great, it, it's yeah. definitely top ten. If I would have seen a list, it would be my top ten. Yeah, think about it. Yeah. All right. What's your number? Wait, actually, say your list for me one more time to make sure I have it right. Like Wait, what'd what? you guess for me? Um, Phineas and Ferb. All right. The first animal movie. Tom right. and Jerry, Fast and Fury, Powerpuff Girl, Average right. Catastrophe. Okay, that's a big the, few Stitching or yeah, Stitching Time. I had Stitch written down. Uh huh. The first Pokemon. Recess. I think I said taking the fifth grade. Right. Um, the first Rugrats okay. and Channel Chasers. I swear I made a mistake. Thank you. Wait, which one do you make recess? I had two things double for some reason. Oh. Um, and I wrote it out. I was confused. Uh, what's your number 10, though? The one that you would never have fucking guessed in your life. The Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie. I don't remember that shit. So, this was the first... This is what introduced me to Bugs Bunny, actually. We own this movie. And it's Bugs Bunny walking around a mansion. And he's talking about all the creators that, like, drew him in, like, the 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever. And then he like goes into like his old shorts. So he'll be like, Oh, Tex Avery drew me for like the opera one in nineteen. That was a great episode thing. Whatever the fuck that was. The opera one's fucking. That's top that's that's number one. (laughs) And then it's Elmer Fudd and he's he's coming down the mountain and then there's like the music is like (laughs) And then it goes into like um a Daffy Duck when he's Robin Hood and then it goes to Bugs Bunny when he's playing baseball with like the big guy. And it's just like a bunch of shorts of Bugs Bunny, and he's going around telling the history of it. It's so good. But it was that's like what introduced me to Bugs Bunny and Looney Tunes, so it's so fucking good. Number 10. Ben 10, Secret of the Omnitrix. Is that the one that's going to piss me off? No. My so number then, so you have more than one that's going to piss oh, me off. I have three. You have three that's going to piss me off. Yes. Ben fucking 10. My number three. My number three of the entire list is going to piss him off the most. Guaranteed. But, Ben Tintin. Ben Tintin. He goes around the universe trying to figure out how this fucking thing like works more. I never could. I loved it. So, Ben Tintin was... That was Cartoon Network, right? I believe so. So, that was like right after like Fosters and everything. That's like right after I stopped watching yeah. cartoons. Yeah. When I hit like... I was still in that age. Yeah, I, I had hit middle school yep. and I stopped watching cartoons. Still in that age. I loved it. And I just... I never watched it. I liked it a lot. It's something I feel like I would like. Yeah, you still may like it going back. I mean, I'm sure I would because I'm still a fucking kid at heart. Yeah, but I mean, I, mean, I go I back like, and I, I love it. I just went back and watched the Hail movie. They bring the back the, they bring the Diamond Dude. So Benton, give me give me the elevator pitch for what Benton. Elevator is. pitch is all right. So this is kid, probably like thirteen ish. He might not be a teen. He might be twelve. I don't know. But he younger yeah, kid. Um, he ends up finding this watch wristband thing. Okay, I know about the wristband thing. He puts it on, and he, he can transform. He hits a button. He transforms into random ass alien. Okay, basically. I remember like a game of powers. like Cartoon Network or something. Yeah, but he transforms into them, gets all their powers. So it's kind of like Digimon in a sense, where okay. they kind of go into the uh, the Digimon where they become the actual like Digimon thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of like that, but he can do it to when I stopped people. caring about Digimon. Yeah, so stupid. He has like. Let's say five or six main ones are people that he can go to. 
But in the secret of the Omnitrix, what happens is he starts to explore space to try to figure out how it works because I think somebody's trying to get it from him. Okay. So he's trying to like learn more about it to so people can't like it doesn't fall in the wrong hand type thing. And he like uses it for good or whatever. Um, going through trying to like figure out how it works is he meets new aliens and stuff like that. He ends up finding the creator of it. And the creator unlocks like a whole bunch of fucking other aliens. It unlocks their power, so he just has more shit. So this guy kind of pissed off at our like what we just did what do you mean? for like our list, because uh-huh. like do specials count as movies? I don't know how that works. Because you have like Kids Next Door number one. Oh, that's a good one. You have the Grim Adventures, the Billy Mandy. I they have a that. bunch of those. I don't know. I don't know the like one. we're gonna have to. We get our list from Wikipedia, so... And fuck Wikipedia right now, because that just got kind of pissed off. There's a bunch is. of them that like, I'm thinking nine? of. Um, Recess, Taking the Fifth Grade. That's the one that you're thinking of where they shoot the beam in the sky, like every fucking comic book. It is book. not. School's Out is when they do that. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You yes, want to bet? What do you want to bet? Everything Taking the Fifth Grade is where Miss Finster becomes their fucking teacher. Is it? Yes. Huh, my, so you got it mixed mind. up, so I was right. Taking the fifth so grade. I didn't really like taking the fifth grade. The strict discipline teacher moved to the fifth grade teacher in room. Because I think they're getting away from her. Was it, which one was it? Uh, school's out is where they go to summer, they shoot a beam into the moon. I like that one. All right, yeah. I, I was just going on this. I couldn't remember what it was called. Yeah. So, so recess, right. school's out. Is that the one you were thinking about for me as well? Yes. Okay, so we'll switch them. Even though you were wrong. Yeah, I thought, I thought that's what it was called. Yeah. So taking the fifth grade, what is this one? So they go to fifth grade. They are really excited because they're so be, they so they get pr- they they go they, up. They grade. go to yeah they go to fifth grade. Um, they're huh. really excited because they're gonna be big kids at school now. Um, they're, mm-hmm. they're getting away from Miss Finster. Miss mm-hmm. Finster becomes their teacher, I think. I don't remember this one. Yeah, I didn't really like it. I liked um the but recess school's out. The one you're thinking of is also my number. Is one. that the is that the one where they show like the flashback of the three episodes? that much into it. Because I remember the one where they show a flashback. I think that was an episode that was when they were going to 6th grade. No. I mean, it might be because they were going to 5th grade, so that would make sense. But there's also one after 5th grade. I think it's the 5th grade one where they where they have flashback. It's possible. Um, but the, School's Out is also my yeah, number 9. Yeah, the 5th grade one is where they have flashbacks. So I remember that one. I, I just like had it mixed up. I don't like it. That's the one where they show, like, um, the one where TJ is the principal for a day. They show the Spinelli, Miss Finster episode. And then I remember the third one. That's a good one. But um, it's not as good as the yeah. School's Out one. School's Out. School's Out is fucking awesome. Yeah, also my number 9. I watched that one with Macy one day. Really? And she, um, we watched that one, and uh, we watched Lilo and Stitch, the first one. Mm-hmm. Now she just fucking loves both of those. That's great. So every time I hang out with her, she was like, let's watch the movie with the blue alien. Or the, she calls it a blue dog. And then one day she was like, can we get a dog like him? I'm like, he's not a fucking dog. <laughs> You're gonna make this fucking alien from outer space. Like, what are you doing? But yeah, School's Out was great. It's cool. It's awesome. world. It's kind of like, um... I've never seen it, but it's kind of like Austin Powers, I feel like. Mm, no. Yeah, it is. It's not. i never seen it, so I don't know. It's not like I, Austin Powers. I think I've seen all. like one episode of it, and I think like the ending of it kind of matches the ending of Austin Powers, maybe. I don't know. Uh, I don't remember the first Austin Powers, but no. I don't think so. I feel like, yeah. I, didn't ne- I never got the Austin Powers vibe. <laughs> What's, your What's your eight? What's your eight? That's what I thought. What was your number nine? Uh, same thing. Oh, Four okay. Hours. Recess. Yeah. My number nine. Yogi's First Christmas. Obviously, first Christmas. That's the I feel one. Like I've seen that. You, we've we've watched this probably three of the last four Christmases. <laughs> it's the one where really? um, he works for a hotel mm-hmm. in Boo Boo, and then that's where they introduce Cindy. Boo Boo. Boo Boo. Well, I got picnic basket. Um, so uh, then it's like the hotel. One of the rich people there. She has her little nephew, and then Yogi Bear is winning like all the awards at like the ice skating thing, and he tries to sabotage him. Mm. And he puts like the salt down, and then yep. Yogi still wins the ice skating. This ring. is the ski lift part too. The ski lift, yep. yep. And Yogi wins because he like flips over because he only has one ski. But it's so good. Yep. All it's right. so fuck. I I'm a sucker for Christmas movies in general. It's so good. That's Huckleberry Hound number. In it. So good. That I know because you said yeah. <laughs> Huckleberry Hound's so good. Yeah, it is. <laughs> number 
eight. Phineas and Ferb second. across the second dimension. And that's not so even, good. That's not even the one I'm pissed about. I don't fucking oh, know what this. The thing number is. three is gonna be. You're gonna be pissed. It's gonna be. Great. It's gonna be number three. It's gonna be great. Yeah. Drink up. Drink up. You can get prepared for it. I'm gone. Well, I'm gonna take it. You know what? I'm gonna have to drink some of that. I guess. I got Bacardi. I'll just drink that with that. Cool. Wait, is that what's in here? Yeah, you can taste it if you want. I like it a lot, actually. That juice masses, so you can't really taste the vanilla. That juice is strong with juices. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, this is worse than the juice that I used to drink with that vodka when we used to skip class. Like, this is worse than that. Like, worse than, like, you can't taste it. It's anything. stronger. Yeah, because it's, it's, yeah, it's a massive taste. It's fantastic. Like, the juice that we used to get, it wasn't as strong. It wasn't, like, as fruity of a flavor, so you still got that alcohol taste. Yeah. But that one's, like, it's straight up juice. You also might not have as much in there. But, I mean, I did pour some of that in there, too. So that's probably just a really strong. But anyway, your number eight is fucking Phineas. I love it. This show is so, so fucking much. stupid it's to so me. Great. I made her watch it. She watched it for the first time like two months ago or something like that. My girlfriend. But um, <laughs> I was thinking that too. I'm like, nah, bro. Um, <laughs> but she watched like the first two episodes. She likes it a lot. Um, so do you think this was a, this would be a show I would like? I feel like yes. You think so? I don't see why you wouldn't. I just they just make isn't shit. one of the isn't the girl in the show the same girl from she's the voice from some t- yeah. she's in some TV show yeah which girl is it it's her their sister but I don't know what she's off of I can look it up real quick is it it's not Ashley Tisdale is it I don't think it's Ashley Tisdale it, is it um stay 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 tuned. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. List of characters. Bro, it don't take that long to find a fucking sister. Ashley Tisdale, yeah, yeah. Is yeah, it yeah. Ashley Tisdale? Yeah, yeah, Holy right. shit. Huh. She's 15. Ashley Tisdale? Mm. No, no, no. Uh, she's Candace. I know, character. I know, that's what you mean. She's playing a 15 year old. Yeah. Huh, that's crazy. But yeah, I loved it. They went, like, they did it all right. I can't like, get, I can't get it. It's crazy. They they saved the world, man. It's crazy. Like, there's not much to it than that. What's your number seven? Another Christmas movie. The fuck is that? No, I'm saying like it's gonna be another type. Oh, movie. he said, "What the fuck is that?" Oh, that was not on this fucking list. I was pissed. <laughs> it's a sequel to a Christmas story. <laughs> what the fuck is that? I was pissed. <laughs> spot. That's how we'll be when you announce your number three. The fuck is that? No, you're gonna know exactly what it is. I'm gonna be pissed, and I'm yeah. I'm, I'm pissed I'm thinking about it. I'm like, the fuck it, be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. My number seven is Bah Hum Duck, a Looney Tunes Christmas Carol. Is that the one we always watch? We watched it. We've watched this every year since 2011, since this shit came out. This is I one didn't of on the list. This is one of my. Was all- that the Looney Tunes list? Yes. I didn't really look at the list. I didn't think I seen yeah, it in the yeah. movies. This is Damn, one of the best Christmas one. movies of all time. That would be my honor. I don't think it would hit my top ten. But this shit is so—it's so fucking good. It's great. I fucking love Bond. Damn, still no text message. Oh, it's so fucking good. That's great though. Daffy yeah, yeah, Duck yeah. running the um the department store. Uh, Daffy Duck. Daffy Duck runs it. Yeah, Daffy Duck. Really? Yeah. And then uh, Porky the pig is his assistant, and then Bugs uh, Bunny becomes the the ghost of Christmas. Is that Porky fashion. quit? Yeah, because uh, Daffy yeah. wouldn't let him go home and see his kids for Christmas. He's like, "Fuck it, I'm it's out." It's not really a movie though. It's a special. It's like, it's uh, yeah. like, it's like. Then he backs him back. He, yeah, because because uh, he goes to the ghosts and stuff. It's yeah. basically a Christmas Carol with Looney Tunes. It's so fucking good. Mm-hmm. And then it's like uh, you have the cameos from like the big hairy, uh, the red guy, and Sylvester shows up. Tweety shows up. So you have like cameos and stuff. It's so fucking good. It's fantastic. I fucking love Bob Uh Seven. Right. Barely Odd Parents and Abra Catastrophe. Oh, my bad. What? Before we get to that, I had a number 11. It was my number 10 till I seen the Bucks Money one. Uh-huh. My number 10 originally was Alvin the Chipmunks Meet Frankenstein. Ooh, that's a good one. I remember... See, when you say it out loud, I remember this shit. Kind of. Alvin and the Chipmunks Meet... Or the just Alvin and Chipmunks movies. The animated movies in general. Not the fucking newer ones. The older ones are so fucking good. The werewolf one and Frankenstein TV show is good too. Mm-hmm. But like, it's so fucking good. But um, I had a hard time choosing between Frankenstein and werewolf. Mm-hmm. But I feel like the one, um, 
Theodore's relationship with Frankenstein, where everybody sees him as a monster, and Theodore sees him as like just another person, mm-hmm. and doesn't see him as a monster. I like that more than I do the werewolf, where yeah, Alvin fucking flips out on everybody. <laughs> he's fucking, he's square up, bitch. He fucking he sneaks into his house and tries to put the fucking uh, the a stake through his heart and shit. Mm-hmm. It's fucking crazy. But I like Frankenstein better. But that was my number ten originally until I seen the books. Those are good ones. Um, Fairly Odd Parents, Abra Catastrophe. Which, when looking at the 12. name, you're like, what? What Fairly Odd Parents is that? I actually had a tap. You didn't on think it. of it? No. It's the monkey one. I was with like, the cupcake. I was like, did he like? Was he like a legit magician? <laughs> was he fucking Harry Potter? Like Abra Cadabra. <laughs> But I was like, the fuck is this? And then nah, the snobs was like, the monkey. I was like, oh shit, I know it. The monkey. Cool. Everybody's fighting for this fucking mm. muffin. And then I'm confused because you don't just take a bite of a muffin. You don't eat all that shit. I'm What's the guy's awesome. name from uh, Fairy, Fairy World? Jorgen? Jorgen? Jorgen, okay. Jorgen von Schengel? Jorgen von Schengel. Like the Arnold Schwarzenegger Basically. person. Every time she's dope. It's fantastic. I love it. It's really good. take over the world. You remember that time we were at the zoo? And he... Bro, I fucking swear to God this monkey was a... This gorilla. Climbing. It was a gorilla. I fucking swear. He was swear. rolling on a tree with like a rock. And then he had something like a leaf or... It was a big ass leaf. He it had like blueprints. It was blueprints. <laughs> it looked like I a fucking paper, swear to God. But I think it was just a big ass leaf. It was a tree star. Uh, a little big... Or... Uh, well, not a little big planet. <laughs> <laughs> it was, he had a tree star in his hand, right? And he had a rock guy. drawn on a tree. And me and Jordan spent 15 minutes coming up with him taking over the world. This is, it was great. Like, I swear to God, he was he was plotting with the lions. This mother, he broke out. I swear to fucking God. God. I bet five He got Harambe. They shot him down because he was taking over the world. They shot that man down. I wanted to see him Rampage. Really? Was it good? I liked it a lot. More. Actually, it. his interaction with this monkey, like, because you know how monkeys, they do, like, sign language stuff. Like, the first, like, half hour when he's, like, doing the sign language and, like, interacting with the monkey, it felt so fucking real. Really? Like, the monkey, like, if you wouldn't have, if I would have known that was CGI, I would have swore it was a real monkey. That's crazy. It was, it was, I really like Rampage. But, yeah. Epitaphy's dope. Yeah. They look like Tarzan people. Yeah. A little bit. I can see. It kind of, it's like a Tarzan mixed with, like, a Futurama art style. Okay. Yeah. I get, I get, yeah. Are you Brian Um, so my next one. Five. Six six, 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 six. Hey Arnold, the first movie. Which, I have a problem, because I watched the second one. Hold on, hold on, before we get into that, this is going to piss you off as well. I don't remember that fucking movie. What? It's not in my top ten. Just Bro, let you know. it was on Netflix, and I watched this shit three times in like I don't week. remember that movie at all. They took it off Netflix, because I tried to watch it like two weeks uh, ago. I it's don't, not on there anymore. Yeah, it's you, new. you, like, I knew it was going to be in yours, obviously. Uh, I guess not obviously. I guess I should go to war. I guess I go to war, hey Arnold, sure. I guess Bugs Bunny was my number 10. It's cool. But yeah, I don't remember that movie at all. It's so good. Yeah. It's like um, a government agency tries to take over something. I'll see how long we're going. We're going for two minutes. I don't care. Um, they try to take over the thing. The big thing about this movie is Arnold and Helga, they finally get together. Code word? At the end. They, they get together on the top of this. Whoa, I feel like I put a lot in that. I can't taste it at all. This on the top of the skyscraper. My problem with this movie is I watched the Jungle movie, which you haven't seen yet. The fuck are you looking at? I was sizing up how much I put in it. I feel like I put up like that much. How much? You think that's a shot or two? That's probably a shot and a half. You feel like I should be able to taste that? No. You don't think so? No. Because the juice or just because in general? Probably in general. I don't know if you'd be able to taste it even if you just put it in. But anyway, so my problem is I watched the Jungle movie, right? Uh You haven't seen it yet. Wait, what movie? The Hey Arnold, the Jungle movie. Oh, the I think said that. Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> I, I heard Jungle, I heard Jungle Book. I'm like, I seen that. Uh, the shit Jungle. Now. So, <laughs> so like the, I, the red flower, bitch. I seen that shit. What you mean? I compare Hey Arnold to the Jungle, the Jungle Book right now. Anyway, no. So the Jungle movie, <laughs> Hey Arnold Two, is what we're gonna refer to it. Right, cool. Forward. I got you. Hey Arnold Two. I'm still focused on my dreams. So Hey Arnold Two is a sequel to the first fucking movie. Understandable. They never addressed the Hey Ar- or the Arnold and Helga relationship. So they go back to not liking each other. Exactly. That's and dumb. it makes no fucking That's sense. Dumb. Like I'm watching this movie and I'm Ooh. like, I'm like Arnold knows Helga fucking likes him. Why the fuck are they doing this? Boo. And then at the end, it's the same fucking thing as the first movie. They get together. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You know what? That kind of reminds me. 
of the Hulk movie when it came out. This the Incredible Hulk with Marvel. I haven't seen or I haven't seen it. No. So I went and saw it with a couple friends. It was Tyler and Corey. Right. Okay. There was one before that. I don't yeah, know. the first one from like 2004. Yeah. I was littler. I was a little kid, right? Follow me. Mm-hmm. Didn't understand that like they can reboot shit at that time and stuff like that. So when they saw the Hulk and they were like freaking out because it was the Hulk and they didn't understand the Hulk, I'm like, you know this fucking guy. Like, you've seen him before. But there see, was a movie that's <laughs> different. Well, I no, I'm talking about back then. I was like, you fucking know But even that. then, it's different. Yeah, but back then I'm like, no, you saw him. I watched this a week ago. You know who that is. You know the Hulk can fuck you up. But Why are you diff- freaking out? It's different. Yes. I wasn't freaking out. I was pissed because they didn't go with the... the, the no, the I was pissed because they didn't know him. Uh, you should know. Why are you just but not see, getting your powers But see, you're pissed at again? other people. No, him just like acting out like he just got his powers and shit too. Oh, so you were pissed at the Hulk himself. I thought you were talking I'm about... I was pissed at, pissed like, at the entire... Court. Like, at that time, I was pissed at the entire movie. It was like... It was a reboot. It's what it was. It was... Okay. Redid it. But I'm, in my mind, this should be it's a the sequel. Same. Yeah. You should not be just getting your shit. But now that you know it. that it's not a sequel, are you still pissed about it? No. Obviously. I'm still pissed about it. <laughs> That's the it. difference. I'm trying to relate. That's what we you know I relating. learned to do. Relating. I'm still pissed about this Hayon movie. Because they go through this entire fucking movie. And they're like, oh. Helga doesn't like Arnold. She's going to be fucking rude to him. Then at the end, she does something to show that she fucking loves Arnold. And Arnold's like, oh my god, Helga likes me. <laughs> what? I never knew. You fucking knew in the last movie. That's my only gripe with it. I really like the Jungle movie. But that's like, they, when they announced it, they was like, oh, it's a sequel. Continuation. See, I wanted to go see that, but I think my schedule changed or some shit. And I couldn't go see it with you when you wanted to see it. It came out Thanksgiving Day, and I was hungover. So we couldn't watch it. Because it was a TV from, it didn't come out theaters. Oh, you're I right, was you're hungover, right. and, and you watched it by yourself. Yeah. Like, so I watched it like two months what ago. What am I thinking of? Um, Pokemon in the, when they re-released it. Yeah, I will with LeBron. Yeah, you're right. But um, yeah. So that's my only gripe with the Jungle movie. It was really good. It's not as good as the first one. But like the thread, the arc, it pissed me off. Cause Arnold, hey Arnold's one of my favorite cartoons. Was your, the second Hey Arnold or your Arnold Mentions? Yeah, I I liked it. It was good. It was yeah. just that thread that it threw me off the entire movie because I'm like, it was like a half reboot, I guess. It kind of was. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? And then like. That's kind of like what they're doing with the Halloween movie. They're doing like a separate, yeah, like a, a separate like, timeline. They're doing yeah, a separate timeline. I guess sort of, but like they said it was a sequel to the first movie, um, which pit, which because it doesn't make sense. And then yeah. like um, there was something else I was gonna say. All right, well it comes back to me now. But number six, Mewtwo Strikes Back. This is your number six. Yeah, the first one. So whenever I see Mewtwo Strikes Back, it throws me fucking off because the fourth movie is Mewtwo Returns. Uh-huh. And I always thought of it as Pokemon the first movie because that's what I've known it for since I, it came yeah, out. Yeah, that's why you said the first movie. I'm like, you're talking about Strikes Back. Because right? I've okay. never once called it Mewtwo Strikes Back and it's what it fucking says in the poster. It's what they say in Wikipedia. Yeah. It throws me off because Mewtwo, because I've always known it as Pokemon the first movie. Mm-hmm. So that's my... Number four. Okay. One you of, didn't tell me that yeah, we weren't there. Like, but I'm just saying because we're going to talk about it. Yeah, keep some surprise, bro. Surprise is number four. <laughs> Pokemon the first movie is fucking awesome. It's great. It is. Well, I mean, I haven't seen the other. I've only seen like four Pokemon movies. But I've seen like five or I've six. Seen, mm, maybe seven. I've seen the first three. I, just, I think I've seen them. Uh, like most of them. Half of them. Okay, so I've half. seen the first three. Because it was Mewtwo, Lugia, and Zay. I've seen Celebi. Yep. I've, I've seen, seen the Oxus one. I've seen part of that one. I haven't seen all of it. Uh-huh. I've seen Mewtwo Returns. And I've seen Lucario. Okay. Because I'm a big Lucario person. Lucario is dope. Lucario is fucking dope. Victini is kind of dope too. Victini, Victini is the uh, Pokemon of Victory, is I think it was. That's the one from Black and White, right? Yes. See it. I, I see, stop caring. Big Titty has two movies, so I don't know which one I've seen. Exactly. Like, it, I also don't know if it's the same movie, just. Flip the character. See, it's the Pokemon? black and white one. It's weird because it's yeah. like Pokemon Black, Pokemon White, or Black, whatever. The fuck. It gets weird when you get to like the newer ones. Mm-hmm. I just don't. I just stop caring. Yeah. So I watched I the TV one. It was good. it was pretty good. I just don't know if that's like two different movies or not. But it's the Pokemon of Victory. It's kind of like the God. 
Pokemon are gods. I'm, I'm settled. It's not a religion. Pokemon are gods. It's so, like this doesn't really pertain to any of this, but for Pokemon, like, the first three generations are the generations I grew up with. I love. Play so, Diamond and Pearl. Gold, so, or the original? Red, uh, blue. Gold, gold silver, silver, and sapphire. Okay, cool. Those are the ones I grew up with. The ones I love playing them in time. Uh-huh. Play Diamond and Pearl. That's when they started introducing 15 legendaries, and they're just fucking hidden except for special events. I kind of like that. I hate it. Well, I mean, I hate it. I see both sides to it. I hate it, because it's like, like the Mew thing in uh, the original. Like, Mew was in the game. But not in the game. But it's not in the game. Like, they had the special events for it, but you could still get Mew even if you didn't go to the special events. With the other ones, you could only get it if you emulated it. You couldn't get it if you played on the DS. And I don't like that. I can see that. And also, I I mean, I was kind of... So, Pearl came out when I was a freshman in high school. I beat every generation. Never played... I played Black and White. That's the one with, Oh, like, no, not Black 2. Black and White 2, that didn't beat. Which one has, like, the Paris City? The Paris City? It's like a... Like a 3D city? It's a 3D, and you can, like, go in. There's, like, three different ways to get to the center. I think that's Y and Z. Or X and I think, it, I think it's X-Y. Black and White. It's Black and... Because it's, it's, on, it's on the 2DS. So I played on an emulator. I think it's black oh, yeah, and white. Maybe. But I didn't but, I haven't played I didn't play black and white. I played it for like Well, I think they both have it actually. Yeah, because black and white two is a continuation of black and white? Yeah. It's like so is it a continuation? I've never played it. Okay. I didn't need for it so much. So I, I didn't know if it was like Gold and Silver was a sequel or if it was like the same cities. I think it might be the same cities, it's just like a legit sequel. That make that doesn't make sense. Though. That's weird. So is it like the same gyms? I don't know. I think so though. And then like they gave the legendaries a different form. Yeah. I never understood black and white too. Like that's yeah. the one Pokemon I it makes no sense to me. I don't. I never played it. So I don't know the gist about it. But because it's think like cause, they, yeah, because they're called cities just different yeah. Because like the the legendaries are called like it went from like Kyrim to like Black Kyrim or something. Yep. Like it makes no. I don't understand. I never played Black and White 1 or 2, never played X and Y, never played Sun and Moon. I beat Black and White, I beat X and Y. Um, I think I own Sun and Moon, actually. I beat... I think I do. Sun. I think I own Sun. Just Black 2, I didn't play. Sun, I couldn't get a... Uh, I didn't even try it, actually. I think I started it, and then I, like, you meet, you go to, like, a table, you meet, like, your four other people that are, like, going off with you. I think I stopped. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, like, I don't think I got past, like, the opening. But the new one... The Switch one? Let's oh, I'm fucking all in. Let's do it. Like, I gotta get back into this. And if it and if it really is a Pokemon Yellow remake, holy fucking shit. We're gonna do open experience. You're gonna play two full fucking hours of, like, I'm black yellow. or, like, X or Y or some shit. I mean, I'm down, but, like... The, the thing that sucks about that is, like, you have to buy it. Like, mm-hmm. all the other shit we're doing, you don't really have to buy it. But, like, two hours, like, can you see enough for a video game? Yeah. Oh, we're getting off too off topic. But Pokemon um, the first movie. Yeah. One of the greatest cartoon movies of all fucking time. I stand by this. Cartoon. Also has one of... Uh, it's fucking anime, whatever. Also has one of the saddest moments in any fucking movie ever. Like, live action cartoon. Tear. That fucking Pikachu scene <laughs> when fucking Ash turns into fucking stone. He comes back though, like, nah. He does that motherfucker back. off. It's kind of like the He's Marvel... been here for 20 years. We don't need him anymore. It's, it's kind of like, like the... LeBron. We need Ben Simmons. But we still like to watch LeBron die. <laughs> no, we need Ben Simmons. Don't act like we're not watching the cast being like, oh shit, LeBron. Did. We're still impressed by no. LeBron. It's crazy. I want Ben Simmons. <laughs> but it's like, like Colin Howard, the Hurt. Watch him. He's great. He He's good. Did you watch the one where he was like, we have Ben Simmons, LeBron, you can retire type thing? Yeah, and then, and so then the great. next week he sees LeBron drop 46, 12, like, and 11. Never mind, he's like, never mind. <laughs> ben Simmons is not shooting that three. We'll let LeBron stay. But yeah. um, what were we saying? The first movie. I like. It's weird, like, I didn't expect, like, it's everybody so to have, like, a double... A, a doppelganger. Yeah. It's, it's so fucking good. good. And it kind of reminded me of the psychic one, where, I think, was it Gengar in them that had, like, different symbols in them? No, that was the Ancient Ruins one, where it's Gengar against... Was that a... Alakazam. 
Was that a movie or a show? It was the. It was an episode. It's, what, a lot. it's, it's one of the best episodes, actually. Yeah. Because they're going through the. But that's what it reminds me of. Because they're all a little bit different, but they're same same. And then they have like different. the big, the big cliff. Jiggly is a jiggly cliff. Big. Yep. She comes out and she sings and they go to sleep and then they put the thing back and then the big monsters go away. One of the best episodes of Pokemon, actually. Number five. I'm not talking about Pokemon. No, like we got way it's too on top. So we gotta, fucking good though. We gotta get back on track. Number five. I'm the moderator. Um, the first Rugrats movie. First one. Which one was that? Uh, where elevator pitch go? Huh? Elevator pitch go. Dill is born. Okay. I don't remember it. What? I don't remember this at all. At all. At all. It the only in... Rugrats movie I remember is Paris. Really? Yeah. It comes in an orange VHS tape. I remember the orange VHS tape. <laughs> it's an orange VHS tape. And we had it in a white box, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so the beginning of the movie, Dill is born. Mm-hmm. They're at the hospital. He's born. They go home. Um, Stu, he's building like that. Yeah, dad. Yeah. Building a wagon or like for, for Dill or whatever. Um, they're on the wagon. Um, somebody's driving down a highway. The wagon's attached to like the back. Mm-hmm. It falls off into the woods. So it's all the kids and deal. I don't remember exactly how. I don't remember that at all. I remember they're on the highway and it falls into the woods. And then like Tommy, Chucky, do a little. I don't think Angelica's with them. I don't think. I don't think she's not. So it's like all the all the babies and then deal. They're in this reptar wagon. Voiced by Buster Rhymes actually. Who is the reptar? uh, The reptar wagon. Oh okay. Dill pickles. That's what I thought you were saying. I'm like, who, bitch? But um, they go into the woods and then they're trying to survive. You remember that episode of Pokemon where they're underneath? They're in a cave. We just wrap Pokemon up. I promise. No, I'm bringing. It'll come back. I promise. So they're in the cave and it's uh Ash, Squirtle, Charmander. I don't know if Bubbles are there. It's definitely Ash, Squirtle, Charmander, and Pikachu. And then they're, it looks like they're going to die or Charmander's going to die. And they're like crying. It's one of the opening scenes of the theme song, actually. You know what I'm talking about? Yep. So it's like that in the Rugrats movie. So they're underneath. It's, it's pouring down rain. Um, they're underneath like a mountain with a ledge. So they're underneath this ledge. And then they have like leaves for blankets. And then Tommy hates Dill. Mm-hmm. Like for the entire movie until this part. He's jealous. Yeah, he's jealous because he's getting all the attention. So then when they're like trying to survive in the woods, they're fucking a year old. Uh-huh. Um, it's raining. Tommy finally falls in love with Dill or like cares about him, whatever. Falls he, in love. Whatever. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <Just> <laughs> he finally cares about his little baby brother. <laughs> Took a turn. <laughs> in Kentucky. He puts a, he puts like a leaf over him, like a big bamboo leaf to like cover him up in the rain to make sure he's not cold. And then... When I you said rain, I just think of Charmander, like, that's, in the that, rain. That's not the episode I was thinking of, but I mean, it's kind of the that's same. That's so not dying. But it's kind of like the same. So, like, they're just trying, it's just the kids trying to survive in the woods, pretty much. And then Tommy hates Dill, and then towards the end, he falls in love with Dill. Or he, not falls in love, he cares about Dill. <laughs> I mean, in theory, it It's such a good movie, love, though, like, but it's such a good movie. Yeah. I don't remember how the fuck they got in the woods, though, when I think about it. I don't remember. Pressing bullshit. One of the weird things about this movie, though. At the beginning, they're in the hospital and Dill is born, and he's in like the ICU or whatever, like in the incubator thing. And then like, there's twenty babies in this room, and the babies just all start singing. I remember they that. They just start singing for no. F- I, like, I don't remember why. And then one of the babies says like, he takes his baby. No, out. I don't remember that. I'm thinking the Family Guy. I remember that on Family Guy. What? This is his point. Continue. Anyway, so I mean, one of the babies takes his binky out. And he's. Talking? Two, he's two days old. Has a fucking deep ass voice. Like he's fucking That's Terry Crews. Family Guy. Family Guy saw that from Rugrats. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know that from Family Guy. He's like a. That's he's crazy. A, he has a deep ass voice. Like he's fucking Terry Crews or something. Yeah. Because the Family Guy, he's wait, uh, he's swinging his umbilical cord. <laughs> I don't remember this. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. What's your number five? Number five, the Proud Family movie. That's it's in your so top good. ten. Yes. Also, that juice is. Weird or strong? Or both? It's both. It's too strong. That's what I'm saying. It's too <laughs> strong. I took a sip of my bro and I not put anything in it. Like, like the fuck? I like the one I like the one that we got last night. The what or not the watch. It might mean the watch. I don't know what it, it might be made. 
Whatever. This shit is too strong. <laughs> it says no preservatives. Where the fuck are the preservatives? <laughs> this shit, the preservatives mask the taste. Tell you. Like, <laughs> if you guys buy this shit, <laughs> shit you're getting fucked up. Like, and you mix this with alcohol. <laughs> That's why. Fuck, that's why I kept. Look, that's why I kept looking at the bottle. I'm like, the fuck did I not? Bro, put anything did you guys see how much I poured in here? That's what I'm saying. I put about probably the same amount. That's why I'm like, the fuck did I not put anything in it? It's too strong. And like, it's it's so strong. I don't know if it's good. <laughs> I, like, like, I don't know if I'm the juice. Cool. Is, like, it's too <laughs> strong. I'm good. My number five, the proud family though. It's mm. the peanuts. She gets mad. That's at her the family. only thing I remember for that movie. No, actually. she gets mad at her family. And they go to an she island. Leaves. They're on the island still. She gets to the house. She finds out that they're in trouble. She goes back and saves their life. I don't remember. It is crazy. crazy. Besides the peanuts, number five, and they're on an island, and they're on a boat, and they get I don't remember the chase. And then they have a they have a um so basically a limbo contest to see who wins. So they go to and an they island dance off or dance off. So they go to an island mm-hmm. with like creatures or whatever. So basically, peanuts. it's a Scooby Doo movie. They're peanuts. Um, Scooby Doo goes to an island. What island are you referring to? The live action Scooby Doo movie. Uh, that's which one? The first one. The roller coaster. That's more like Jurassic World. The roller coaster. No, they go to a fucking island. With the roller coasters. I mean, there's a roller coaster on the side of one of the of the mansion thing, but it's still an island. They're talking about the. Well, don't they go to like an amusement park? And Scrappy's the villain? Scrappy is the villain. This but is, that's, it's still an island. Yes, it's more like Jurassic World. Mm. Not the fucking peanut movie. I mean, I guess it's kind of the So same. is it more like the Even Stevens movie? <sighs> Proud family. We're, we're kind of compare this to. So it sounds like the Even Stevens. No, because there's not really creatures there. No, because they just go to the island. I, they might be going on vacation or something. And then there's just peanuts. Pop See, up. I don't remember nothing from the property. I just remember the peanuts, and they go to a like an island with a volcano. With the volcano, I don't know. I think there's a volcano there. at the top. But they try to get some sugar mama from Oscar in some form that I believe. Um, he sells something. I'm trying to think of what it was. Wasn't it cookies? It might have been something baked. I don't, maybe it's maybe something baked. This one, because it's in a. I remember it's baked. Yeah, but yeah, and they try to get him. Penny gets mad at her family, leaves, gets to the house, finds out that their mm-hmm. the peanuts are looking for him. She goes back with um the guy with the glasses. I can't think of this. So, I'm just, so I'm just putting this connection together now. So, Prophet is Disney Channel. Yeah, a lot of Disney Channel movies fucking revolve around an island. You got the Proud Family movie. Uh-huh. You have Even Stevens. Uh-huh. You have the Wizards of Waverly Place. Uh-huh. Sweet Life. Oh, Sweet Zachary. Life is Zachary, or the Sweet Life on Deck, where the fuck it was. Like, a lot of the movies revolved around islands, now that I think about it. Fuck it, let's put the islands in there. What's your number four? Um, Pokemon, the first movie. Cool. It's so great. It's so great. Well, it's so this. fucking good. <laughs> My number four is Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time. Number fucking four. I had that on the list. Fan fucking I don't fucking remember this movie. It's right. We already talked about that as well, but it's great. The golf guy's in there. Monkey Fist is in there. They even go back to her when she first started doing this. She was babysitting her. I think she was babysitting, but she didn't have. She was a cheerleader, so she had to like jump around the fucking red beams or whatever the lasers to in the museum. I believe. I don't recall this at all. It's dope. Number three. Another Christmas movie. The fuck is that? <laughs> Wacko's Wish. Waco's. That's Wish. not your number one. No. I put that as your number one. Straight. No. Wacko's Wish. I think I've watched this with you. Uh, we've watched this. I think for the past three years. I think I've made him watch it. We actually watched Aladdin one year for no reason. We did like <laughs> Aladdin. The no, last year we we're like we're not doing the Christmas movie. We're trying to watch some Disney shit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we just watch these movies. But uh, yeah, Wacko's Wish is so fucking. Uh, we watched Wacko's Wish, um, the Mickey Mouse one, Once Upon a Christmas, and then Bob for Christmas. So we watch. I made you watch that. Like we watched that, and then Bob Humduck every fucking Christmas, without fail. <laughs> it's the same exact. Movie. And Home Alone. We always go. Home Stay Alone's up all night, movie. watch movies. But Wacko's Wish is Elevator so. Elevator pitch, go. Um. So Wack or Dada sick. 
She's a little sister. There's a shooting star that lands in, I think it's, it's a couple hundred miles or it's however long. It's far, it's far away from them. So they find out that if you touch, the first person to touch the star gets one wish. How do they find that out? Um, it's an old wise tale or something. Okay. And then um, Wacko finds out that the star has landed near them. Or like he watches it fall. So Wacko, or all three of them, they go find the star. Other people in the city, the king's people, the sh- it's kind of like Robin Hood. They have like the sheriff and stuff who like takes money from people. Um, they find out about the star. So then they all, there's like 50 people who go into the star to find the wish. And then Wacko, Dot, uh, Yakko, they all get caught by the king. Man, this is kind of like what I'm going to think about. They all get caught by the king, and the king used to serve with Wacko's parent or with their parents. And then the children find out about it, and then there's a big musical scene. And then Wacko finally touches the star. He gets enough money to save Dot's life to go to the doctor. And then it's the end of the movie. It's so fucking good. It's just like an adventure of like 50... It's kind of like Rat Race, actually. Where it's just like a bunch of people going towards... I don't know the gist of that. It's just that. like a bunch of people going towards the star. And then like they're fighting, trying to get to the star. They It's kind of like Wacky Race, sort of. Where they're like... Um, the, there's the pigeons that have like their special uh, area or aerial craft. And then the doctor has his thing with the moose and the carriage. Wacko and them have a sled. And then the king's people have whatever the fuck they got. Mm-hmm. And there's just a bunch of people going to the start so they can get their one wish. Side note real quick. Mm-hmm. Ever ever since we started like doing one list call like this first season, quote unquote. You, we have, you have an inkling to go watch Animaniacs, huh? No, not at all. <laughs> I've been paying more attention to things I watch slash listen to. To be honest with and you. And you're like, huh, I kind of like Animaniacs. No. It's so good though. But it's just like we could I in my mind I'm like we've talked we talk about random shit basically, but mm-hmm. like for this show or whatever you want to call it, this content, we talk we we're ranking shit. So like obviously we have some opinion behind it, so this is maybe like think a little bit more of like mm-hmm. the things I do or don't like or mm-hmm. More of the plot, like let's say, like in movies, I never like looked at the plot or like the Easter egg stuff like that. I I try to pay attention a little bit more to the minor detail I didn't do before. Mm-hmm. Don't know why that came to me, but it did. You <laughs> know what I mean? Um, my number four and the three. Here we fucking go. Blinky fucking Bill. The fuck is I see that on the list? What the fuck is Blinky Bill? It's the koala bear movie. Is that the one that's on Netflix? Yes! The fuck is Blinky Bill? It's apparently a TV series that I didn't know about, and I'm so grateful I I see that on the list, and I was like, what? I thought it was a superhero. Blinky, he is, in a sense. Fuck me. Blinky Bill, the movie, came out in 2015. Fan-fucking-tastic. He meets the koala bear, would you believe it? What is that? You so no. no, look at, look at, look at. No, you can't get on your phone. I'm talking here. Don't give a look fuck about this Blinky it, Bill fucking koala bear. Come Just so you know, koala bears are the dumbest fucking animal on earth. They're great. They're my favorite. They're so fucking stupid. They're so dear to my heart. They're great. But Blinky Bill, is they're so the dumb. Next level. I fucking hate. They're so dumb. <laughs> I love it. I don't understand koala bears. They're so stupid. Like you a bear or you a marsupial? What are They're you? They're both. Figure it out. They're both. They're stupid. But look. So, his dad disappears. Is that fucking <laughs> right? His dad disappears. Oh, hell no. <laughs> if it was crying, you could do it. If it was crying, I could. Yeah. This is but, um, vanilla I can't do. His dad's like the leader of this, we're going to call it a town thing, where a bunch of people, diff- different people live. Wait, so was it all koala bears? Or was it no, like no, no, no. It's everybody. It's kind of like... Okay. Uh, Little bear, like it's just a bunch of random ass things so that diverse. live in this live in this town. We're gonna call it in the middle of the jungle kind of thing. But his dad disappears. He's like the mayor, the leader, or whatever. Um, so he's gone for so long, and he was like very adventurous and wanting to like save the little animals, like little people, but they're animals. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he wants to save them. This is number um, three. Yeah, I love. This it. is above Pokemon, the first movie. Get the. Fuck out of here. It's so good. So, an alligator... He was right. I'm fucking pissed off right now. The 
I think it's an alligator. I believe it's an alligator. You think so? I, I'm pretty sure. Fuck it. I'm gonna look it up. But it's above Pokemon. And recess schools out. Was that even on your list? Yeah. Where was it at? We haven't got there yet. Nine. Yeah, we got there. Have we? Yeah, nine. Was it nine? Oh, it wasn't. I can say. <coughs> Fuck this koala bear movie. So what are you looking up? Uh, the alligator. Stupid. Today. Fuck you, man. We're recording. But, um, I'm gonna give you the elevator bit just more. But, um, more? Is yeah. this elevator done? Can I get to my no, floor? It's, I'm it's getting the, off early. It's I'm the getting Empire off State Building. I'm getting off early. I, I, I held the uh, close button and my. No, fuck you. <laughs> You're really not gonna work. But, um, this shit works. So, his dad disappears or whatever. Alligator tries to take over the town and become mayor. Wait, wait, wait. So, that's number three? Yeah. Our number twos are the first. Our, our one and two is the same. Maybe. They're the same. Just so you're aware. I don't remember the alligator. He doesn't fuck it. He doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about, guys. Yeah, dude. But so he just... tries to go find his dad so he can save the town from being a part of this bad alligator. The mayor. part of a bad al- what? No, being led by an alligator. Okay, thank you. My bad. Part of a bad alligator. <laughs> like the alligator eats half the town. Part of it now. Probably will. He gotta show his dominance. What? But so he tries to go. I'm um, the moderator now. We're moving on. No, no, look, no, we're not. <laughs> so he ends up trying to go. He sees a girl koala bear in a truck in a cage. Sets her free. She's pissed off. She's like, "Fuck no! I need to go to the zoo. I'm got time to be out in the wilderness." <laughs> so then. She has to go with him because she doesn't know how to survive in the wilderness, and Blinky does. But then, look at they meet this little. We're all not dumb. <laughs> they meet this little <laughs> insect, maybe grasshopper type. No, it's a it's a it's a lizard. It's a lizard. I remember now. It's green. It's a lizard, and the lizard might be the best part of the movie. He's fantastic. He has the little joke. Five seconds ago, he didn't know if it was a lizard or not. Now it's it the is. best part of the movie. It is. It's the green guy. I remember. But yeah, and they go, they go, they go find their dad. I've never lost more respect for you. Than I have That's right what I'm now. saying. It's so great. Blinky goes to shit, dude. And then at the beginning, Blinky, he he's a he's, he's a kid still going, guys. He's a kid, right? So he has to like, he tells his friend. This is what you feel like when I like talk about Animaniacs or something. <laughs> this is what you feel like. <laughs> I'm mainly going on and on because we've been doing elevator pitches and we're trying to have more. This like, long fucking more longest of... fucking elevator pitch. Like if this was Shark Tank, that's, I, why, that's why. Okay, it's three. if this is Shark Tank, I'm just gonna let you know now. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I'm not it's not a Shark Tank. I don't want to go. So at the beginning, this is the last part. But at the beginning, he has to leave society. <laughs> He has to leave, and he doesn't want his mom to know, because his mom doesn't want him to do anything about it. So his friend, he's very, very good at mimicking people's voice, mock, mocking people, if you will. With his friend so his friend sits in his room, and his mom's like banging on the door of like, hey, are you okay, Blinky? And he changes his voice to sound like Blinky, but then he gets found out. It's cool. It's, it's, it's legit. You should watch it. On Netflix, watch that shit. So I'm going to let you know now. There's no fucking way I've ever watched this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this movie. <laughs> so fucking it sounds so bad. He said an, el- an alligator ate half the town. No, wait, I take it back. He took it over. He may have ate it, though. We don't know. How the fuck? What? You- Did he eat no, it or not? <laughs> I said he probably would try to, a- to assert his That's the sequel. That's the juggle, That's the juggle sequel. <laughs> he starts eating people. <laughs> they-, they just go back on their fucking last fuck movie. Fuck yeah. What's number two? Fuck this movie. Uh... Fast and Furious, Tom and Jerry. My number two as well. I know. And That's my Cartoon one. Network. The one I was thought of, but I mean, obviously Ben Simmons was there too. Okay. That's like, mm, I don't really think of the Cartoon Network, but I mean, it is Cartoon Network. But that one's that's so why, that's why That's why I put Ed and Eddie, because Ed, 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 I yeah. couldn't think I of it. I never saw that one. I don't. Or Power Girls. Girls. I don't remember that movie. Power of Girls, I remember. Ed and Eddie, I remember watching because I'm a huge Ed and Eddie fan, but I don't remember the movie. I don't, I don't but I know I've watched it. Maybe I've probably watched it. But Fast and the Fury. Oh, that's it's so wacky great. racist meets Fast and the Furious with Tom and Jerry. It's so great. It's so fucking good. Like 
It's so fucking. They got planes. They got cars. They're going across continent. They're, it's a worldwide. And they end up being a movie show or a movie thing at the end. Not yeah, the it, end. Was, it, it was, was a, like it a was TV show. It was a TV yeah, show. It was weird. It's so fucking good. And then, like in the middle of the race, they're like, "We're done. We're cutting it. We're canceling it." Who's then, the Who's the best racer? Besides Tom and Jerry, the grandma. The grandma? No, she's good. I like the the soccer mom from Wisconsin. Isn't the grandma? No, the soccer mom from Wisconsin has the accent. The grandma gets uh, she gets out had like with the dog. The soccer mom didn't have the dog. No, the grandma did. I think so. Yeah, she has the dog. Yeah, she's she the, gets she's taken out. She's no, she's number two. There was the soccer mom from Wisconsin. She has the Wisconsin accent. It's so fucking good. No, it's the mom or the grandma. So fucking good. You're fucking wrong. But I fucking love uh, Tom and Jerry. Just in general, so good. But they're trying to fuck with each other. It's crazy. It's, it's so good. You know more channel chasers. I believe the fifth. That is the best cartoon movie of all fucking times. It's not just a cartoon movie. It's several cartoon movies. <laughs> In one, he becomes older. He loses Cosmo and Wanda to save the world. You cannot ask more of Timmy fucking Turner. Not even that. They have Chris. They have uh, the Rudolph. He's pooped. He. He's like, I don't think there's chocolate. <laughs> they go to the Simpsons, Dragon Ball Z, Speed Racer. Was that? I know. I, I never seen Speed Racer. So I didn't like necessarily know that was a thing. So just for uh, so I watched the yeah, Game of Greg show. Yeah. You're talking about Speed Racer. Yeah, kind of funny. Go follow. Him. So I've never seen the Speed Racer movie. I've seen the trailers. Never seen the movie. I've watched the cartoon. Not a big fan. I think I've seen the cartoon like once or twice. But I know of it, and I know like what the style is. Mm-hmm. So I recognize that in the Fairly Odd Parents. But then you got the Dragon Ball Z, fucking Piccolo. What? Turned to Piccolo at the end. Fuck crazy. Then it was like, it was Dragon Ball Z, and I think it turned to like Transformers or like Gundam or something towards the end while they were in Dragon Ball Z. You got The Simpsons, you have the Christmas, um, I forget what Christmas special was from. Uh, what else, what else did they parody? Um, I don't know, they went in a lot of shit, like, it was really so quick. much. I think they did Charlie Brown. They did Charlie Brown because they couldn't understand the adults. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? Yeah. But Channel Chasers is the best thing, cartoon wise, for a movie of all time. They just know this is the whole. But I could go back and watch it now and I'd still be just as happy. Same. Like watching it, I would still. Feel but like, it's so sad that he loses them and he knows. But we know he. Them. We know they get him. It's kind of like he doesn't know I don't it though. Want to, I don't spoil it. I was gonna spoil it anymore. This is going up four months from now. That shit don't matter. Fuck it. It's like Infinity War. Spider Man dies. Black Panther dies. We know they're coming back. Killmonger's dead. We know he's coming. He's definitely he's definitely dead. No, they're back. bringing him back he's like hell, like in Dragon Ball GT. He's coming back. Gold Killmonger. Killmonger's definitely dead. <laughs> Gold Killmonger. But Black Panther will be back. Spider Man will be back. This is, we all know this. this is, they have movies on the slate. Off be topic. Back. Off topic. Doesn't matter. But anyway, so it's kind of like the Fairly Odd Parents. You said, no, they're gone. No. We all know it. He didn't know it, though. But we did. He didn't. We did. He didn't. But Jen felt so Timmy's good. pain. He's like, I'm going to become a teenager. So, what was the reason for Timmy going back in time? He wasn't going back in time. He wanted to go into the TV because his parents wouldn't allow him to go on TV because he got grounded. No, but like, where did his older version come from? That's a different movie. No, 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 no it's Channel Chasers. No, no, that's Channel Chasers. Um, because Vicky won the Channel Chaser thing, or she got the remote. That's right, she got to the end, and she she took she, over the world. She got the remote, she took, over the, she took over the world. And then Timmy so went back in time to remember that. Okay, yeah. they, okay, I remember that. And they had the Batcave type thing, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. Because, like, at the beginning, we didn't know that the older Timmy was older Timmy, and he had, like, the mask and shit and on. He, he had blue eyes instead of red yeah, eyes. Yeah, it was though. fucking crazy. So, like, you knew he was, like, good, I guess, but you're like, why he was are you crazy? Here? But, yeah. Channel Chasers is the best. Ever catastrophe. Right underneath that. But Channel Chasers, I give Channel Chasers a 9. 
I wish Ashby didn't even make my top 10 list, but it's up there. And then it kind of pissed me off that they're like, Timmy, if you can hear us. Yeah. Stop watching TV or whatever. And it was like, we know one thing's for sure. Wherever Timmy's at. He's watching TV. <laughs> like, no, bitch, he's inside the TV saving the fucking world because you grounded him. Good fucking job. So off topic, what's the best Fairly Odd Parents episode? Episode? So, so, so I think we talked about this one. Talk about it. I don't think we did. We did. So, 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 so. What is yours? <laughs> did you get the one? Um, the episode where they're in the video blast. game. We and did the, talk about this. Did fucker. we? Because the hamster was controlling that shit. And like the very, or one of the first episodes in the video game, they could die. But. They die. In real life. I like when they have unlimited Christmases. Because Santa Claus runs out yeah. of presents. And it's a great. Um, that's a good one that comes to my head. Um. I can't think of any other ones that off the top of the head, though. Well, the one where Vicky, Icky, Vicky, Chip Skylark, any of those are great. That's always good. Um, the dentist one again. We, mm-hmm. we talked about. This. We did, I remember that now. Yeah, the dentist one, all that good stuff. I still can't believe you had fucking Blinky. The Blinky Bill, Bill number three, bro. I'm trying to tell above you. Pokemon, go watch that shit. What? Above a lot of shit. Above Phineas and Ferb. You know how I feel about that shit, bro. See, that's the one that would piss me off. I'm stupid too. No, Blinky Bill is the one that's gonna piss you off. Cause you should know that. I've talked about this before. That's why I talked about fucking Phineas and Ferb. No, like you don't know. Me. So did I win? Oh shit! You got seven. How many did you get? Um, I did Wacko's Wish. Hey Arnold. Channel Chasers, Tom and Jerry, Mewtwo, School's Out, Huckleberry Hound. Was that on yours? Nope. You didn't put that in there. I need to put that. I need, I've never, I didn't know that was a movie. So I've never seen that. One, and I love Huckleberry Two, Hound. three, four, five, six. I think I got six. I fucking won it. I'm fucking undefeated. Proud Family man. wasn't in yours, right? Nope. Was I'm fucking undefeated. Rugrats? Mm, the first one, yeah. Okay, so you I missed. I did Paris. I did Paris. Yep. Yeah. That was the one in yours or no? No, I had the first okay. one. Yeah, I got six years. I fucking won. I'm fucking beast of this game. I'm undefeated. I don't think you're undefeated. Um, I haven't lost yet. Because for one, you fucking cheated one episode. I got, we tied. You we all fucking know cheated. It. You all know it. He fucking cheated. But hey, in the comments below, tell us why I'm right, he's wrong. Tell him about Blinky Bill, please. I need everybody to go watch it and then comment If anybody below, leaves this comment it. for Blinky Bill... I'm blocking him. He's not. I'm blocking. He doesn't have access. I will fucking get him. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Leave this your list below. Episode eight. Um, what do you want us to hear us do, or what do you <laughs> want us to do? <laughs> no, that was right. That would work. What do you want to? Mm, no, I don't. What do you want to hear us do? <laughs> no, it would work. I don't like it. I don't like it. It wouldn't work. Though. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I wasn't ready either. I don't like but it. But leave comments below, like good list or anything like that. Sorry, this episode was a little bit longer. I think we're right over an hour. That'd be alright. Maybe a we talked about Pokemon for like forty or for like twenty minutes. That'd be alright. <laughs> we did. But until next time, episode nine is going to be live action movies. No, maybe I'll look it up on the schedule. Yeah, PBS Kids is seven. This is eight. Episode nine, live action. Live action TV movies for Car- kid. Yeah, for kids for like Disney Channel stuff. Yeah, all that nonsense. And then our finale, we have a surprise for you all. Episode eleven. We have two more after this. We added one. <laughs> We're doing great, right? Feel me? Um, we have, we're fucking unprepared. Very. But tell us what you like, don't like, give us feedback. Try not to be dicks about it because it's kind of just like... Yeah, if you're a dick, we're blocking you. I don't care. I will gain access. Probably not blocking you, I'm but blocking like... You. Don't be a dick. Just don't tell us dick. what we're doing wrong, what we're doing right. Have a good day. See you next time. Till next time.